Good morning. This is your media report for Monday, January 16th, 2017. I'm Sergeant Chuck Breen, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Since the 13th of January, 2017, St. John Police have responded to 341 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email, police at stjohn.ca. Or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenv.ca. On Friday night at 11.12 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a robbery at Greco Pizza on Somerset Street. Staff advised police that a masked male entered the business, threatened staff with a weapon, and demanded money. The male was given an undisclosed amount of cash and fled the premises on foot. A search of the area was made by police, but the suspect could not be located. No one was injured during the robbery. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Major Crime Unit. At 11.50 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a motor vehicle accident on Rossi Avenue. Officers were advised by witnesses that a vehicle had run into the back of a city plow truck. Police spoke to the operator of the vehicle and at that time determined that he showed signs of being impaired. The driver was then brought to the St. John Police Station where a breathalyzer test was administered. As a result of his readings, police arrested the driver, a 26-year-old male, for impaired driving. He was released to appear in court on a later date. At 12.43 a.m., St. John Police checked a vehicle being operated on the Redhead Road. At that time, officers noted that the operator of the vehicle showed signs of being impaired. He was taken to the St. John Police Station, where he was given a breathalyzer test. As a result of his readings, police arrested the driver, a 21-year-old male, for impaired driving. He was released to appear in court on a later date. At 3.26 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of the theft of a vehicle on Dorchester Street. Police were advised by the owner that she had parked her vehicle on Dorchester Street and when she returned to it, the vehicle was gone. She described the vehicle as being a 2009 Pontiac Torrent, blue in color, with New Brunswick license JIY438. At 3.55 a.m., police located the stolen vehicle in East St. John. The vehicle was parked and a female was found asleep in the driver's seat. When officers woke up the female, they noted that she displayed signs of being impaired. She was then transported to the St. John Police Station where a breathalyzer test was administered. Due to the results of her test, police charged a 39-year-old female for care and control of a vehicle while impaired. She was also charged for theft of a motor vehicle. She was held and later released to appear in court on a future date. On Saturday evening at 8.50 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of an assault at a rooming house on Princess Street. Officers were advised by the victim, a 24-year-old male, that another resident of the rooming house had kicked in the door to his room and punched the victim in the face. As a result, police arrested a 28-year-old male for assault and breaking and entering. He was held to appear in court. On Saturday night at 12.30 a.m., a St. John police officer noted a vehicle being driven in a dangerous manner on McAllister Drive. The officer tried to stop the vehicle, and the vehicle turned onto Rossi Avenue where it continued at a high rate of speed traveling through a red light and an intersection with a stop sign without stopping or slowing down. The officer is able to stop the vehicle on Rossley Road. At that time, the officer noted that the driver, a 33-year-old male, displayed signs of being impaired. He was taken to the St. John Police Station where he was given a breathalyzer test. As a result of the readings, police arrested the male for impaired driving. He was also charged for dangerous driving. Police released the male to appear in court on a later date. At 1.46 a.m. while on patrol, a St. John police officer noted a male who was on a court-ordered curfew walking along Princess Street. His court order stated that he was to be in his residence between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. As a result, the officer arrested the 40-year-old male for a violation of his court order. He was held to appear in court. On Sunday afternoon at 12.05 p.m., St. John police responded to a call of an assault at a residence on Crown Street. Police were advised by the victim that she and her boyfriend had been arguing when he bit her in the face and punched her twice in the head. As a result, police arrested a 50-year-old male for assault. He was released to appear in court on a later date. He was also placed on an order to have no contact with the victim. At 2.05 p.m., St. John Police responded to the same residence in Crown Street as a suspect from the assault had returned to the victim's residence and was trying to get in. As a result, police arrested the male for a violation of his release order. He was held to appear in court. This will conclude the media report for Monday, January 16th, 2017. Have a great day, and remember, let's be careful up there.